That's right, everybody. It is Crazy Taxi for this week's Retro Friday. Yeah, this game is a lot of fun. Uh, I, I do five minutes, you know. No need to go forever and ever. Just get a little taste of it. But, uh, yeah, I have this for the uh, Dreamcast. And, yes, I am playing this on an actual Dreamcast. <laughs> right, let's see. Who will I pick? Uh, I think I'll go with uh, Axel. I used to play him a lot, but I uh, yeah, I go with Axel. Let's do it. All right, so basically, uh, this game's a if for anyone who's never played Crazy Taxi, first of all, it's it's pretty much set like an arcade kind of style. You know, it, you could it has a real arcadey feel to it, which makes the game cool to me. Um, and uh, you basically pick people up. You got like a seat over the person's head. You see that's in my car. You see the time limit, and basically that's how much time. That's the time frame that they want you to get them to their destination. And you see, wow, that was news for me. <laughs> but you see here that they say they gave me this uh, speedy badge because I got her there when the time was still green. So uh, yeah, I'll just pick up people close to me so that we can get as many people as possible. I only have five minutes here. Um, so yeah, they show you the destination on the left side of your screen. But you also have this arrow, so you don't have to memorize it. Uh, I think when I play this all the time, you know, when it, in the, I guess in the height of its lifespan, you know, during the, during the drink cast days. When I played this, I probably did memorize what the locations were, but you can just follow the arrow, and yeah, basically you gotta, it's crazy, it's not like be safety, I mean, you wanna try to get there as soon as possible, uh, by any means necessary. So, you know, I, I remember driving on the water, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, so the laws of physics do not apply to this game. <laughs> Which makes it really cool, though. I mean, it's real fun, you know. It's a real. F I guess it's a fun. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be considered as a party game uh, by today's standards. But I mean, I remember having my friends over. We all like to take turns on Crazy Taxi. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, um, basically, you get less money um, depending on the distances. Like, if, for instance, you'll see over like the um, money over people's heads. It might be. It might be like a. It's, it's like it's a money sign, but it might be red. Someone might be yellowish color. And when they're green, that's like you get the most money from um, taking them to their locations, but they're further they're um, further away. So yeah, see like this is right down the street. Like you could have walked a piece of hut. <laughs> that's the other thing about this game. You see like major branding going on up in here. So you know, I don't know what I went into you know the making of the game, but obviously they have some um, serious advertisement going on here. We have KFC, we have Pizza Hut. Uh, I think there's a Reebok store in here as well. So yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this game's a lot of fun. You want the U-Haul truck? I don't think it's a U-Haul, but it should look like one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you just drive around. I mean, I like trying to hit as little stuff as possible. Oh, wow, look at that. I talked her right up in that ram right into it. <laughs> but it's like the tech line. If you dodge cars and stuff, you get extra money. So it's, it's cool. I mean, the game really makes no sense. That's not the point of the game. If the point of the game is not to make sense at all. It's just about running and gunning and trying to get the person to their next location. <laughs> but uh, just playing is bringing back so many memories for me because I just remember just days and days and hours of just putting into this game. I mean, it's not like there's any kind of story to the game. It's not like you level up. You just hop into it for three, five, or ten minutes. Wow. Uh, and then you try. You have like now two minutes, a little over two minutes left to. Uh, get as many people as possible, and you gotta try to basically beat the time. I'm I'm, I'm taking a shortcut here just because I remember. Cut through the grass, boom, booyah! But uh, yeah, it's sweet. It's a fun game. <laughs> yeah, and the interactions with the driver and the people you you know pick up is very fun. Oh, Fila store. That's what it was. Not not Reebok, but Fila that I was talking about. But anyways. Um, yeah, um, I, and I know that they've recently, uh, ported this over to the Xbox 360, um, I think it's called the Dreamcast Collection, you know, and, uh, I know for sure, I'm not sure how many games are up there, but I know for sure the games that I have, um, or had was Sonic Adventure, um, uh, Course Crazy Taxi, and Bass, and Pro Bass Fishing. Or whatever it was called, sake of fishing or something. I don't know. It was about fishing or something. It was bass fishing, something like that. But anyways, that was kind of cool. I looked back on it. I was like, um, 
you know, I had I had these games and they're a part of a collection now, so obviously they were cool games. <laughs> but I mean, hey, again, the Dreamcast really didn't have many games <laughs> to begin with, you know. But um, the games I had, you know, they were quality games, you know. And the games, the few games that they did have, the Dreamcast was like a fun system. And I really wish it could have done a lot more. But that being said, but yeah, I only have a few seconds left. It's going to definitely be my last guy here. Unless I pull off some kind of amazing feat, but I only have 30 seconds, and yeah. Ooh, man, wow. Man, these are some really agile people. Like, you don't hit nobody in this game. This is, you know, some, like Grand Theft Auto, man, it'd be over. <laughs> but, man, these people are agile. They're like, you ain't hitting me. Uh-uh. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, look at that. He had to go to the same place as the other guy. But yeah, now a lot of, I didn't go to a whole, I didn't get to go deep into the, into the city. I mean, it's, it's pretty big. I mean, again, it's relative to the time frame, but it, I mean, you know, for its time, and you know, I mean, it, the city's pretty decently, a decent size. I mean, it's just a small portion of it. I just like pretty much went down the street, <laughs> you know, but yeah, I, let's see my, let's see my, let's see my grade was. A B, let's go. I am feeling, I am feeling good. I got a B. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's it for this special Friday. As always, if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, hit us up. Hit me up on my Twitter. You can inbox us on our YouTube on our uh, YouTube page or on I mean, YouTube channel. Or leave a comment in the comment section. But anyways, until next week, this is Zell bringing the retro to your Friday. Mm -hmm.